before we get to that point, uh, what happened between Suge and Akon's bodyguard? Or not bodyguard. Was it his bodyguard or <coughs> Akon? He was mad at me. Or, or his brother. Big Ja. Okay. What, what, which one are you talking about? You talking about when Suge got knocked out in Vegas? Or are you talking about when he attacked Akon's brother in LA? I think when he attacked his brother. In LA. Well, that was it was all linked together, wasn't it? A uh, similar kind of sort of, you're right. So detail. Who was Ray J's producer, Sexy Kenna? Ray J found detail in Detroit, him and LA uh, LA Buck. Brought him to Cali, lived with Sonya Norwood. Detail working, sexy cat out comes. <clears throat> you know how I go, you get a hit, everybody wants you. Nobody knew you before, everybody wants you now. So Detail's working with everybody, he's working with cash money. Akon contracts him to come in, do a bunch of tracks. For some reason, Suge thought that Detail owed him some money. I don't know what him and Detail had going on, right? But because Detail was contracted to Akon, some shit that had nothing to do with nobody, he felt like if I press Akon, I can make Akon make Detail pay me some money. He go to Arizona, head of security, is uh. Big D from my neighborhood and two T's from Bounty Hunters, who's head of security at TDE. Probably know him from seeing them with uh, Kendrick and all that shit, right? <clears throat> he had left game and went over there. Big Jaws management. Big Jaws was a fan of Suge Knight. Told me in my Range Rover how much he respects Suge Knight so a nigga like him that just did 15 years could get out and get a, be a part of this independent game. He went down there and he's like, yo, Jaws. Detail, man, you know, y'all got him. And Woody like, look, bro, we doing other business with him. But I give you his number. So when he sure came in his phone, Ja going to put the number in. You know when you put a number in and the name pop up like it's already there? Suge's mumbling. Yeah, because mamas ain't going to be able to go to the store. With me, Big Ja just lost his mom that week. Big Ja ain't no bitch. He just walked off 15 in the feds. He took off 40, knocked him out. And um, Suge gave a motherfucking statement, called Big Ja, told him for 100000 everything could go away. Ja had to fight the case, all kind of shit. After that came Akon's brother, Boo. I'm not taking nothing from Boo. Good dude. Boo, 5'9", 5'8", 140 pounds, 50 pounds. He's a businessman. He catch him down at Chris Brown studio, one of them studios. Put his hands on him. Who can't fight Suge? That ain't what he do. So, you know, um, I got a call from somebody from their camp. My man T-Money. Another dude, if you haven't interviewed, you <clears throat> might want to interview. A lot of historical information from this game. One of the ones that helped game back when he first got signed, his first label, all that. T-Money called me and said, yo, I heard what happened. They must owe Suge for him to be tripping, get him on the phone, let's figure it out. I get Suge on the phone. He's like, bro, what they owe you? He wouldn't tell him. He said, bro, whatever they owe you, I'm going to make sure he pay you. But I just need the other shit to stop. He wouldn't tell him. He just started talking crazy to him. Bro, from the other side, he from Mansfield, Crip, he ain't no bitch. We've been doing time together since 12 years old. Been knowing him a long time. Say, said, Suge, respect it, man. He called him trying to get you paid. If something to get paid. Come to find out wasn't nothing there to get paid. He was just on some bully shit. So they hung up the phone the way they hung up the phone. Whatever happens end up happening. So the dude that they look up to, that I detached from, he got knocked out twice. One by the barber. One by Ja. And shot five times. And then ends up going to jail because he's scared to squabble bone. But you know, let them tell it. He's the people's champ. That's busted shit. So, at what point did you and Suge actually start to fall out? We didn't fall out till after. Well, I, I already went with him because <clears throat> he was bullshitting on things and I seen what he was doing. He started getting high and doing things he normally didn't do. So, you got to remember, Wack always had his own program. I ain't take orders from no. I did my thing, trucking, my, my real estate, 
my loan company, you know, I was doing what I was doing, flipping homes, whatever, right? So, you know, when I seen that it wasn't no real business there, it wasn't nothing to talk about. And he kept doing shit, and I told him, you know what? The night he with, um, was it Dallas? The producer, is it Dallas Austin? Sounds I get familiar. a call from my man Big Gip, Goody Mob. Two in the morning, I answer the jack. I'm in my truck. Yo, bro, could you holler at Suge, man? He got the homie collared up in the club in Atlanta, choking him out, all this shit, right? I said, walk the phone over there to him. What happened? He said, he owe him some money. Whack the only way we're going to make sure we pay him is tell him let him go. So when he um take the phone over there to him, they say, whack on the phone. So he, he listened to me. I said, bro, let him go. They say they're going to pay you. He said, it's on you. Yeah, it's on me. Right? He let him go. I get him paid three days. I called him. I said, bro, you get paid? He said, yeah, I got paid. He left it at that. So when he left it at that, I left it at that. Just got you a hundred, because you wasn't going to get it that night. You was going to get shot or go to jail. You in the ladder by yourself with a bitch. When he left it at that, I left it at that. I went my own way. Next time I heard from him, he was locked up, calling me. He didn't want to break you off none of that for helping I, him yeah, out? I didn't even, you know, I don't ask. You know, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, cool. I ain't tripping. Right? Next time I heard from him, he was locked up after he had did his twists and did his turns. Um, last time I saw him, it was a, it probably might have been my 30th birthday. He came to my party, <clears throat> got pressed. My man Speedy pressed him, stopped that. Um, and um, he called me and offered me to do the movie deal with him, which I set it up for him. It was set up, ready to go, but then the you know the hedge fund. Uh, what people, happened with that? Are you saying that he didn't? You say he sold his rights to like a few different people. Man, I told him. I said, look, I got a deal on the table, doing some other shit. I can move mine out the way, put yours there, cause of the situation. And all set up. He needed attorney fees paid. I had Alex Kessel ready to take the case. Attorney fees gonna be like a quarter of them. People's gonna pay it. We had a thirty million dollar budget set. Said, bro, no bullshit. Nah, nah, up and up. But the attorney got to get paid first. I said, the attorney going to get paid when the due diligence is done. Paperwork got signed. Contracts got signed. Then they come back. They said, yo, bro, it's like five, six other people own the same rights. So I told Shug, I tell you what. Sign this waiver saying any reprisals fall on you 100%. So if they come sue... Whatever they take, it only come from you. He wouldn't sign it. I walked away. He called me a little bit after that. And it might be about a month. His mother died. He had no money. People don't use their brain. All you saw in the media was what? Suge Knight's attorney quit. Why? They wasn't being paid. He went to jail in the pickup truck. The Suge Knight you knew from back then wasn't that today. All of us was looking out, putting him in rooms and shit. He wasn't that. He had the stigma, but he wasn't that. Cool. You, you, you down on your luck. So I covered his mother's funeral. 15, 16,000. The grave, the dress, the casket, <coughs> the um, burial, the dinner afterwards, the caterers. I paid for that. And about six months after that, Reggie Rice sends me a recording of this talking crazy about me. I didn't get too mad because it always been a snake. I just didn't think he was that kind of snake. So at that point, it's like, <clears throat> you, you know, you got to get, get away or get rid of him. He got rid of himself. Took a deal for 28 and, you know, went and PC'd up in Donovan. Shugs in PC. Straight to PC. Day one. Damn. Couldn't he go to mainline? Yeah, he refused to. Damn. Why do you think he refused to go to mainline? He ain't the Suge Knight he was the first time he went. He can't offer record deals. He can't send money to their books. He barely getting into his. 
He didn't have the persuasion or the power he had prior to. And he got enemies. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.